Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is the final reveal for the 2023 Pro Street Group Build. The group build is hosted by Dylan at NYS Modeling, and in the description, I have a link to the Dylan's introduction video, with the rules for the group build, that started on the July 1st, and will run until January 1st, 2024. So, if you would like to participate, there is still time. As I showed in the entry video, my choice is this 1967 Chevelle Pro Street. The kit is from AMT, number 876-12, in 125th scale. And here she is. Basically, this was a box stock build. As we will see later, additionally, I just wired the engine, as well as the battery, and I included a scratch build fire extinguisher in the interior. My idea was to visually highlight two colors, the champagne gold, as base color of the body and chassis, and the red, by adding the stripes on both sides, as well as some other painted elements, to break up that base color a little. The referred base color is the Tamiya TS75, champagne gold, applied over gray primer on the body, and a light coat over black primer on the chassis, to keep some shadowing. All the body and hood emblems, as well as door handles and keyholes, were painted with silver. Additionally, I used the Tamiya panel line accent color black, as well as transparent red on the flags of the front side emblems, to give them some more realism. For the trims around the windows, I used metal foil, and the front grille, the grills of the hood, and near the front window, as well as the panel lines of the doors, and of the trunk lid, were washed with the Tamiya panel line accent color black, and from the supplied license plates decals, I used the ones with red letters and numbers. At the end, I applied on the body two coats of gloss varnish. The wheels were clear coated with matte varnish, and I also used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight their interior details and give the rims an aluminum aspect. Under the hood, the engine block and the cylinder heads were painted orange. The valve covers were painted flat black instead of the original chrome, the intake manifold, I kept it chrome, and I painted gold the carburetors as well as the fan. I wired the engine with yellow spark plug wires, and I scratch built a coil to connect the wire from the distributor. The interior of the velocity stacks were painted with clear red, and as I said before, the battery was also wired with red and black cables. The radiator was painted flat black, dry brushed with silver, and with the top painted gold. The firewall details were painted with flat black, magnesium, and gold. All the interior panels were painted beige, with the Chevrolet letters of the rear panel, as well as the trims and handles of the side panels, painted silver. In the same way, the bucket seats were painted beige, with the built-in seat belts painted red, and the dashboard was also painted beige, with the front area silver. The steering wheel was painted to simulate wood grain, with the center spoke silver, the roll cage was painted aluminum, and I scratched built a fire extinguisher, to give this area a personal touch. The interior floor was painted flat black. Underside, the engine oil pan was also painted orange, the transmission was painted aluminum, the exhaust collectors were painted white, with the mufflers red, and I weathered the exhaust system to give it a dirtier appearance. The front suspension elements, the transmission crossmember, the differential, as well as the willy bars were painted red, and the drive shaft was painted magnesium. So, this is my contribution to this year's Pro Street Group build, and this was not a difficult model to build, as I built it almost box stock. In my opinion, this is really a very nice model kit, I really enjoyed building it, and I'm quite happy how it came out. I hope you like it too, and stay tuned for the static photos at the end. It was a pleasure to have joined this group build again, and many thanks to Dylan for hosting once more this very nice annual event. Thanks to all my subscribers, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and comment down below, with any question or feedback. 
See you in the next video.